All right, so now that I have drilled all of my holes for my brackets, I'm now on the inside of the bus. Now, the back panel of our bus is fiberglass uh, up at the top. So uh, in order for me, as I mentioned uh, in my previous uh, part of the video, uh, this part here for me has in structural, in, uh, structural, uh, structural integrity issues. Excuse me. Um, and so you can see that I have drilled our four holes and then these were our mounting brackets. Uh, it is a little bit hard to see because we do have an, uh, an AC unit that runs when the bus is running. So what I'm doing is, is I'm about to put this bracket up that I made and we're going to go ahead and take these bolts out and then we will go back outside once I get this in place and where I want it. And we'll go back outside and we're gonna mark the holes from the outside by just running the drill bit in and just basically just giving a head start on drilling the wood. Then I can check all of my holes and then we can drill it all the way through uh, because I'm gonna have to take it back out and put it on the bench. And then I will end up bolting it all the way through and that will provide that integrity on the inside as the unit provides weight on the outside so it'll draw together. But that's why I added the metal on the outside of these two by fours for that structural integrity as well so that any kind of flex, um, this metal is going to be able to hold uh, the lumber nice and tight. So that's the purpose behind that. And then, that should do it. I may have to make a base for the bottom of the mini split, maybe out of diamond plate or something like that. Um, I've also seen people use like a strap around the side of it, but we're gonna get it up there and we're gonna see how it goes first. Another key factor is making sure that like your lines are straight as well when you're putting the board in. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take my square and I'm gonna run a Sharpie line down my fat mat and then down onto and transfer it over to where the two by four is gonna sit. That way when I get the piece up into this area, my mounting piece, I know that visually looking at it, I'll be able to see if I'm in dead center of the two by four. That's important in terms of your mock-up purposes. So you can see that I have scribed a line all the way down. I've got this metal shelf here in which the two by four is gonna rest. And then um, the reason that I have the two by four, or the plywood on there uh, on my bracket is because this is indented about a half inch uh, for where that school bus sign was originally. So at this point, now that I have my lines drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my board up to see what kind of fitment we have. I'm sure there's various ways to do this, honestly. Um, and I have it upside down. And that's why you should always mark <laughs> your top and your bottom. So, try number two. And I can see my mark there. And I can see my mark there. So with that in place, and the plywood doing its job against the piece, if I drill it in here, and bolt it through, I should have no problems at all with integrity of coming through here. So now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to implore my wife or somebody to hold this. My dad's supposed to come over later and give me a hand with the actual hanging of the unit. Um, but right now I'm at a point where I can't do this by myself. So. I am going to have to have somebody hold the bracket here while I go outside and use my drill to get some starter holes in there 
so we can make this thing work. All right. All right, guys, so I have, my wife came out and gave me a hand holding up uh, the board. So uh, what I did was, is she was, she held it up and I was able to make my marks with the drill bit, three eighths. And now what I'm gonna do is we are going to take the rest of the, we're gonna drill through the rest of it and then go through the metal on the other side and that way we can get this ready to get installed. Alright, and just like that we are through the metal on the other side. So we're going to do that again on all of these holes. We've got our four, our eight holes drilled through each spot. Now I actually can see that, you know, I only put two screws in here and two screws in here because I wasn't quite sure where everything was gonna land in terms of uh, the holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'll add some more screws here as supports. Uh, and then uh, this is what it looks like on the other side. So you can see I've got the holes through the metal there. So I'll take a little round file and clean that up and then I actually can probably put some more uh, screws through the metal here before I actually get this in and, and hang it up so pretty excited um, that's what it looks like and that will be our brace and we'll go ahead and get those round file out and get that cleaned All right, up. so what I'm doing now is I have 3 8 by 3 stainless steel or 3 8 16 stainless steel all threaded bolts that I got at Menards. Uh, they come in a six pack, um, so you have to buy obviously two packs to make your eight holes. And what I have done is I'm taking a stainless steel flat washer on the, on the back of the nut, or the bolt, and then once I run it through, I just put my hand on the back side. So these two washers are compressing against the wood. And right now what I'm doing is since all my holes are already laid out, I am just taking my ratchet and I am running them through. And then I'm gonna take the brackets and test them on the outside because I don't want these bolts to be too long. Um, I am gonna double nut them. So I'm gonna actually bolt this board or this bracket that I've made out of wood to the fiberglass first and then put uh, the white mini split brackets on just so I can see the structural strength of it first before I make the decision um, to brace it if I need to brace it further. So right now I'm just running these bolts in to test fit them to see if I need, do I need to go with four inch ones? Do I need to make them shorter and go with two and a half? Uh, that's my goal right now. I think I'm gonna end up using the three inch. So I've run most all the three inch ones in all the way and you know once we get these in I'll be able to take you guys outside to show you what it looks like. Alright guys so I have the first bracket up um, and what I have come up with here is I had these spacers just laying around in the garage. Honestly I think they were out of the um, pop-up camper that I had. So what I have done is I put them on my grinder and I flattened them. And this is going to be the top one up here because of this lip. That's going to go up there like that. I have also done that to the stainless steel washers. And so what I'm doing now is I'm actually taking a dab of marine sealant. And I am putting it on the washer itself. And I am putting it over the top of the stainless steel bolt. And I'm gonna do that on all of my washers so that 
if it rains or anything like that or somehow there's a leak these will be nice and sealed on the back side so we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the marine sealant on all the washers get those up there and then we're gonna hang our bracket all right so we have added a key component here uh, to the mini split install and that includes the um, marine sealant right here um, so I have put a nylon spacer as I mentioned that was cut and then another fender washer and then I've let this dry for about 15 minutes we've got this side over here that is all completed um, and it is level it is resting here it's got four bolts in it that I just have to tighten up uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this other bracket on here first and make sure that it is square and it is exactly 21 and a half inches from this side to this side so I know once I put the mini split on uh, before I tighten it up it is going to be perfect so we're going to go ahead and get this bracket up here and it is laying down perfectly so we should be able to know I got to go grab my uh, tape measure and we'll have the brackets installed obviously have to grab some different supplies because I got the little nugget with me and he is hard to hold and install things so working on it so we have the mounts now on the back of the bus uh, spaced out at 21 and a half from the outer edge to there which is the perfect size for um, the mounts or the legs for the bottom of the mini split so the mini split will go above our back door um, let me take you around and we can take a peek at what it looks like from the inside don't mind all the mess and the tools so here is get some lights on in here so here is how the um, back bracket ended up looking uh, in its final stages so there's four bolts and this bracket goes all the way up the back side so you're able to kind of get a visual of that and this thing is super secure is not going to go anywhere so that is the uh you know the whole point of this so in a little while uh, my dad is going to come over and we are going to lift up the uh, mini split itself and actually put it into place and see how it withstands some of that pressure um, as it starts to you know put that downward weight on this bracket we'll see how well it holds up so We'll have to wait here a couple hours before my dad gets here.